Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw front view, top view, left and side view and development of a cylinder of base diameter 42 mm and axis height 60 mm which is resting on its base on HP with axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to vertical plane VP. First you will draw HP VP. This is only for understanding. You draw horizontal plane, vertical plane. Now it is resting like this on a horizontal plane. See this, where axis perpendicular to HP. So when you see in the front view, you'll see rectangle. In top view, you'll see true shape. So we'll start with top view. Always remember whenever they say axis perpendicular to HP, we'll start with top view. True shape will be in top view. What I mean by true shape? Circle. So I'll take radius 21. And I'll draw top view. Now after that I have to draw front view. So when you see in front, what do you see? You see rectangle. So I will draw a rectangle in front view. Height is how much? Height is 60. After this, we'll draw side view. So for that, we'll take height from here and for width, we'll take it in top view. So we'll take 45 degree. We extend from here. So we'll get side view. So side view is also rectangle. So we are done with front view, top view and left and side view. If you want to draw a center line, you can draw center line in the middle. I'm doing dimensioning. Height is 60 and diameter is 42. After that, for development, I will draw one line. Now see this. Development will be how much long? First, what do you mean by development? When you open it, how it will appear? When you open this cylinder, see this. It will be a rectangular sheet, right? With two circles, one at the top, one at the bottom. This is total development, right? We are going to do first lateral development. That means this length. So this is how much pi into d it will be equal to circumference so first we'll calculate how much is pi into d so we'll draw one line now we'll take pi into d that is 22 by 7 into diameter 42 see this is pi d Twenty-two by seven into forty-two, so this will be one thirty-two. So pi d equals to one thirty-two mm. So you'll take one thirty-two mm. You'll extend this line. So this is what you get is lateral surface development. This is what we have in ICSC portion. But let's say if you want to draw 
total surface development. So in total what we need to do, we need to draw a circle also. We will take this radius, we can keep it anywhere. And we can draw a circle. See, this is pi d with height. If I want to draw total development, then I have to draw a circle. Remember that. Now, we need to cut this like this, right? So for that what I need to do, I need to give width, see, we'll give width to development, approximately 5 to 10 millimeter, whatever you like, then you draw 45, 45, 45, 45 at all the corners, like this, and then you have to cut it. So when you cut, it will be like this, see this, and you cut in zigzag form like so then it is easier for folding then you fold all these lines all these lines which you have drawn extreme line and all those yeah you join this with a glue It's a little bit complicated, but you need to, if you do it, it will, it will take time, like it, the end result is good. When you do this, see this, you join this, it will become proper cylinder and then you stick this also, as well as the top portion also. See. like this so this is how it looks in top view front view side view and for development when you open it this is how it looks so i hope you people have understood what do you mean by development thank you